All right, everyone, listen, this is a completely different episode. This might be a few different episodes that we're doing because we are in Beer City, USA, Asheville, North Carolina. And tonight we actually just came right out of the airport and we are at the Sierra Nevada post right here in Asheville. have a flight out here guys that i mean this is stuff that i have never i didn't even know they made this stuff. so i'm gonna go through this flight here real quick but by the way before this flight we had dinner inside this is a great place so if you're in nashville if you like craft beer you have to stop here they have great beer and great food so just so you know i just before this i had a black american ipa which was oh my god awesome and they actually had a Marzen, which we I pair with their um, house uh, pizza, which is we have like salami and and sausage, and that was a great pairing right then. So I have here in front of me four four uh, beers that they only sell here when you come here. They don't they don't bottle these out, at least not that I know of. So this first one is called Audition Oatmeal Stout, and you know the title the name says it all it's an oatmeal style so i'm gonna go for it i'm not gonna go through the whole you know color clarity carbonation aromas and all that stuff i'm going to uh be very very brief because we have a lot to cover and it's getting late although i do like the aromas you can definitely get a lot of that kind of like chocolatey even yeah even espresso you know, roasted coffee stuff. Wow. So it started um, very bitter. Keep it the tongue. Then I felt, a li uh, you know, I was able to taste a little bit more chocolatey, malty, kind of like middle of the taste. And then again, it finished bitter. So... Wow, this is probably a great dessert beer, I'll tell you that. Now, this next one, and I actually have to cheat here, guys, because I don't know this whole thing uh, here, if I can get this to come back. Uh, okay, so this next one is called Chumbo Rosado, which is a tequila barrel age beer, and it says it has prickly pear, hibiscus, fruit punch. So... It is not for the faint heart, faint of heart. It is a 10.8 ABV beer. But wow, you know what I can pick up from the aromas? It's actually the bourbon. It, 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 I mean, it's the not the bourbon. I want to say it's the booze. The yeah, the agave, the tequila. You it definitely smells boozy. And yeah, it's almost like when you have some tequila, what's left in the glass, that's almost the aromas that I'm picking up here. Oh, wow. You see me making faces? Because that one is kind of tart. And I'm not a big fan of tart beer. So, interestingly enough, it's not as boozy. It's very, I would call that probably... Tartest, if that's the, the most tart, if I can say that. I don't know what the superlative of that would be of the beers that I have reviewed so far. It's very, um, I don't know, like raspberry, raspberry and kind of like very dark fruity, but very, very tart. Okay, now I'm feeling the heat from the booze. So very late in the aftertaste, that's when you can feel some of that, some of that heat from the booze. But definitely fruity and tart is that Chumbo Rosado. Not my favorite. That's just not my kind of palate. But, you know, whatever whatever works for the different teeth, right? Now, this next one, I'm excited about one. This one is called a Barrel Age Superfest. 
and it is a bourbon barrel aged one, and it talks about caramel, vanilla, bready. So, mmm, those aromas. Oh yeah, very sweet vanilla caramel. Oh yeah, kind of like burnt sugar, burnt brown sugar. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, well, you definitely feel the heat on this one. This one is a 12% ABV. So, you know what I say? I call this a good night beer, right? So, it's a good thing that I only have, what, three, four ounces here. But the tip of the tongue is actually very sweet. And then the middle of the palate, honestly, you feel a lot of that bourbon vanilla kind of from the from the oak you know from the bourbon barrel and the back of the taste it's pretty hot i mean it's, it's, it's you can feel the heat from all that you know bourbon all the all the booze so it, you cannot hide the booze on this one but oh my god that's a great that's a great beer and then finally i'm excited here i have what they call a rain check which i'm going to i'm gonna have to read here it's a spice stout. And this one is only, you know, after everything else I've tasted, it's only 8.9 8 ABV. Uh, so, you know, I'm excited to taste this one here and let's try it. Oh, wait. The aromas here are very spicy. Well, it is a spice stout. The, the aromas here are very kind of like ginger. Man, I want to say like hibiscus or something. It's like some floral, big floral. I'm not talking like IPA floral. I'm talking like, well, I don't know if it's like, like rosemary or, or, or it's definitely ginger in it, but there's more, something more in there, but I'm going to taste it now. Okay. Spice stout it is. It is. I don't think I've ever tasted anything like it. Um, little bit, little bit of that roasted espresso flavors. However, it it's it has a lot of spice there, and I mean maybe a little bit of ginger. Okay, now I feel the ginger, but the front of that taste was. I mean. If you ever smell rosemary, it just felt like I just took a bite out of a rosemary, you know, plant or something like that. So it was very, very, very spicy in that sense of kind of like, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking rosemary, um, which is a very, you know, strong herb to add to food. So I'm not that excited about that one out of all these ones out here. I would say my favorite, this is just Eddie's favorite, right? You don't have to uh, obviously uh, agree with me. But definitely the oatmeal stout, very nice and smooth, nice dessert beer. And the Super Fest, which is a bourbon barrel age, that one is, you know, your good night beer, but it's a nice, still smooth, good night beer. The Chumbo Rosado, like I said, very, very boozy, very tequila based. And then this one, it just, it has a dimension that I've never tasted in a beer before so it does have a lot of spice and uh, and I'm not entirely sure how that would go I mean um, so anyways I'm excited to be here at in Asheville and you are going to see I don't know if this is going to be one episode of, or, or, or many different episodes but uh, you know tomorrow we're going to go to at least three or four more breweries here and we're here the entire weekend celebrating my wife's birthday so it is a great time to be here and it's summer so it's great to be outside even in even at night so uh even though there's like fireflies and things like you know flying or that i have to swat out but um we'll do the next one i mean as i always say i hope i have helped you increase your beer knowledge as we all continue on our on this journey of becoming beer connoisseurs and i encourage you to be on the lookout when I release my next year review video. And until then, I'm going to go with this one.
Enjoy.